In this tutorial, you're going to learn how to take one unique specific color, have that vibrant and nicely saturated, while everything else is desaturated. Alright, so let's get started. So, now what we're going to do is, as you can see, we just have a regular photo, non-edited. What we want to do here is take this red, first of all make it vibrant, and uh, bring up the saturation just a little bit, that way it already pops out, and then have everything desaturated. So, what we're going to do is, first of all, if you're not in develop, get yourself in develop, that might help. <laughs> so now, just make your little tweaks and edit it to how you want with the major editing tools, such as exposure and all that. And so that's just going to be your regular tweaks for the overall image. Now, what I like to do is bring up the vibrance and saturation, that way it already pops out. So, now we're going to click Adjustment Brush. And so everything should be set at zero, which is exactly what you want. And now all you need to do is that. Wasn't that easy? Yeah, that's right, you just bring it to minus 100. So, now just play around with your brush size and get it to how you like it. And if you don't understand, size is obviously how big it is. Feather is how smooth the edges are. So if you have zero feathers, that means it's going to be very edgy. And what you, what you use your brush on, that's what's going to show up. There's going to be no feathering, no softening up. So if you are afraid you're going to make some mistakes, put the feather up a little bit. That way, if you do this, it only saturates a little part of it. Now it's not a huge mistake. And density, you need to put that all the way to 100. Otherwise, it's almost like opacity. If you have it at 50, only 50% 50, 50 of the desaturation is going to happen. So put it to 100. Now what we're going to do is just paint around it. Well, around the part that you want saturated, that is. And now what that's doing is desaturating everything else. Obviously there's other ways to do it. This is just the quick and dirty way that I like to do it. And it's easy for people that don't have much time on their hands to edit photos. Especially when you have a lot from, uh, from vacation. There you go. And if you want to get the small details like right there, now we're going to put the size down like that. So obviously I did it very quickly and what I should have done was go around with a small brush and just get the edges. But you know what? It's just a tutorial and hopefully you can do it better. So that's what the final image is going to be and then you can always tweak it. Like let's say you want a little bit of saturation. You can just do that. You want the clarity up to make it look like it's almost I don't know, sketched or, or using film. That works too. And there you have it. Sometimes sharpness also does that too. And there you go. Those are just a few quick tips. And uh, that's my tutorial on how to use selective color in Lightroom. Hey, glad you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more great tutorials like this one. Edits speed arts, you name it. It's coming your way. Vicious edits. V-E. Over now.